My daughter is eight months old, and it's amazing they hit that age where they start composing themselves in a more expressive manner. And I remember a, a series about my son happened around about the same age. His arms were always up there. He was just the electric little boy. And it was always, pick me up or give me that or, you know, just celebrating his existence in all sorts of hysterical ways. And she's got this far more gentle, arms are down. So there's so many. I've been and, and playing with different surfaces to work on, so putting the frame on before the paint is complete. You, you often work with the frame on and you paint on the frame sometimes. So. Yeah. So I've always been interested in the frame and its function as, as, a, as something to protect an image and then something also to finish and decorate an image. Um, and I suppose with children it's that protection and um, yeah, yeah. That, that extra bit of armour that you try to place around them. So this, and a lot of these things are um, objects that I've found or or been hanging on to for for many years. So they have the they have a lot of history in the object as well. So then to paint paint about my child is adding another entry into that yeah. into that diary. There's a painting over here of Hester, and this um, this surface and this frame I've had since I was about fifteen. So that if you would X-ray this image, there'd be numerous paintings underneath that had been painted over and over. So all that history is there, embedded in the object. And then finally I painted out white and um, did this painting of Hester with sort of a head up here and arms and legs. And with these paintings I want to, um, I want to then display them in um, carry cases, like museum carry cases that would be with handles on the side and big pine cases that would be screwed with a top over the front to to travel interstate or overseas. But then but but show them in those frames. This is a piece of driftwood that when Lottie and I first met it washed up on the beach at St Kilda that I kept. Oh it actually had a kind of assemblage work that I made for her as a sort of tribute to that time at, in that place, which was unsuccessful, but I hung on to it for so many years because it's got these gorgeous edges. And then now, now it's a, um, I don't know if your camera picks that up, but it's a, a graphite drawing of Hester with the sun and bits of markings. And I've kept the hanging device on the back because it, I don't want to, um, I don't want to reject its history and yeah. its previous form. And you can feel the labour of a younger man's hands winding that up and wanting to get it on a wall and that sincerity that's in there. And for me, the you know none of these pictures are for sale. They're just too too important. Or too personal, not too important, too personal. Yeah. And again, I want this in a museum travel case as another way of protecting it. Because you do, you want to encase those you love with cotton wool and yeah. the frame to me became this really powerful sort of um, part function, part aesthetic, but kind of an emotional thing too. Mm.